And we're back with another episode of Pokemon Coliseum. And check this out. Uh, steady now. Okay, maybe not that steady. Yeah, you can sneak past them after all. Wish I'd known that before. Yeah, I only was down in the under to get some lemonades because I could really do with some lemonade. It's a good healer. Um, oh, yeah. My stealth skills are second to none. I would like a hot cross bun. I'm really hungry. I always seem to never eat before I do these videos. But anyway, if you remember last time, we were here in, I really don't know how to pronounce this place, Real Gam. That's how it's spelled, so that's how I'm going to say it. Real Gam Tower. And we defeated Murabi. There are actually three other admins. I only thought it was two. You've got uh, Dukim, who was in the Colosseum. And he had the Entei, I think. Then you had... Um, Venus, who had the Suicune, and then Ayn, who we know have the Raikou, so we're going to head right this time. Because it's our rad this time. And I did level, actually. I don't know if I... I didn't show that, but... Oh, hello. Let's see, this seems to imply that it goes further ahead. I don't know how to explore this place, but yeah, all my guys level 47 and 48, so hopefully that's just the small boost we need. Uh, I suppose we'll keep going? I'm not entirely sure which the correct way of doing things is. Oh, hello, okay. Well, this is fine. It's Dakim. Who... That's an odd pose, my friend. Duhaha! <laughs> Your luck ran out when you showed up before me. Your stamina adventure has gone on long enough. <sighs> oh, man, that was quite the vibration he just left. So hopefully, now that we're slightly higher leveled, we will be able to not struggle so much. And that we have lemonades now. Okay, yeah, you, you can stop posing now. And send out your whiskash and clay doll. At level 46 and 46. Okay, so we're higher level than these guys, which is good. Who do I have out? Octagon and Dunny Boy. Okay, that's fine. Now, I think we're going to bubble beam that clay doll. And then, Toxic Whiskash? Or could that thing be very lethal? You know, I wouldn't be surprised if the thing had Earthquake and clay doll had Levitates with nothing. Uh, I'm going to yawn it instead. Oh, hello. I don't know why I didn't expect that. Oh my god, okay, yeah, you can take that, Dunny Boy. You can take that all day long. Oh, maybe not if your special defense is lowered. Uh, but hopefully Octagon can do the biz here. There I go using that word again. Okay, that's good. That's a good amount of damage. Hopefully Whiskat... Oh, I bloody knew it. <laughs> bloody knew it. Okay, so I'm going to have to switch Dunny Boy into something that can resist Earthquake. Yep, yeah, I knew it. Your strategy is pretty obvious, but I still, f like, fell for it. Okay, so... I suppose Blueberry's the best choice here. It's a grass type, so it will do good to Whiskash. So we're going to Bubble Beam Claydol and then bring in Blueberry. Which is level 48. It and Flow Rider for some reason got special preference in my training. I suppose it's because they were the first two Pokemon I had on this team. Oh, here comes Psychic. I don't know how good your special defense is. That's fine. As long as you don't lower it. Okay, it didn't. Usually when I say things and don't want them to happen, they end up happening. So, I really need to stop doing that. But we've taken down Claydol. Okay, that wasn't too tasking. It might be going for the Earthquake again. Uh, here's the Flygon. Someone else with a Flygon. So this guy seems to like Earthquaking and then having things of levitate. But Whiskash is asleep now. We won't have to deal with him. Um, so I suppose we could focus on focus, focus on Flygon. Uh, you know, we'll, yeah, we'll do that. We'll do the four times effective moves. None of these guys will probably die, but it'll do a significant amount. Yeah, that was significant, and it'll get a bunch of your health back. Uh, sunny Day. I haven't seen anyone else use that, I don't think. That's fine by me. Anything that weakens your Whiskash. And Aurora Beam, maybe it'll kill it. Oh, it does. Yeah. I looked at the level up movesets of these guys on my team. There's not much to look forward to, but Octagon does eventually learn Ice Beam, but it needs quite a bunch more levels. Foratress. That thing doesn't resist Earthquake. What's wrong with you? Okay, so... The sunlight is strong. I think you've screwed yourself here, because I'm going to switch into Flowrider predictably, maybe, and then 
Mega Drain Whiskash again. And then I would hope that Mega Drain defeats the Whiskash. And then Flow Rider can clean up on the Fortress. And it used Protect. That's fine because I wasn't attacking you anyway. <laughs> Alright, we got a Mega Drain coming up. Cooking up a storm. Oh yeah. Yeah, see, this is going by much quicker. Maybe it's just his Ludicolo of Mara B being a pain. Because we know how annoying they are. I mean, they're generally meant to be like that, whereas these guys, not so much. What? Okay. Things got very interesting all of a sudden. He has his Entei again. Okay. I honestly wasn't expecting that. How many balls do I have? Oh god, not again. I'm gonna go for it again though. This has to happen. We're at a lot higher level at this time. We're gonna have to use Great Balls. Why did I not anticipate this and get Ultra Balls? Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh god, I might fail again to get this Entei. But we need it in the Great Balls. We need it in the Great Balls. Presumably the others are here as well. Down goes Fortress. So we've already got all our focus on Entei. That's nice. So we just have to attack it now. Okay, the sunlight's still strong, but that's no major thing at the moment. Um, how do we weaken this thing? We use smoke screen and then... Um, let's use Bug Eye, why not? Bug Eye, you need some more screen time. Oh, this is a pain. We all go. We all remember what happened last time. I have to hope these 25 Great Balls are enough. And one Ultra Ball. Let's not forget the one Ultra Ball. So I'm going to weaken it entirely down beforehand. Uh, I probably should have kept out something that could put it to sleep, shouldn't I? Oh well. We'll do that in a second. Uh, but we'll keep smoke screening it and then you can weaken it. Dragon Breath should do okay. Don't exactly know the stats of Entei too well. This is going to be a crazy time, man. Okay, so let's see how much Dragon Breath does. It's the sound of Flygon Dragon Breathing, apparently. Okay, that's okay. That's fine. But what I don't want it to do is get paralyzed. Um, so, okay, the sunlight's faded. So, we. You, I guess you can switch out now. Blueberry? And then... Dragon Breath again, I guess? And then we're going to have to weaken this somehow to a really low point. Because I think two more Dragon Breaths might KO this thing. Let's see how this goes. Okay, yep. Another one will probably defeat it. And it'll probably wake up now. Yeah, there we go. Hello. Shadow Rush. Well, that'll injure you. Except it missed. Oh, right. And, uh... Sleep Powder, and then... Oh, actually, if it knows Shadow Rush, do I want it to get that low? Will you Steel Wing, because that's not very effective. Okay, Blueberry doing the business again. This is good. But this isn't the hard part. The hard part is catching the bugger. And I have a notoriously poor record of even attempting to get these guys. Oh my good goody gumdrops. Well, that's bad. Um, we're gonna have to throw... <laughs> no, not Pokemon. Well, I'm in the wrong menu. Um, I'm gonna have to... Just throw an Ultra Ball. We need to get this thing, because if he's Shadow Rush, that's in. That's it. Game over, man. But that wasn't my fault, man. It was a critical hit Steel Wing. What was I supposed to do? Okay. Now, I'm gonna cross my fingers that this one Ultra Ball works. It's at possibly the lowest health it can be. One. No, I knew it. It's too good to be true. I just have to hope it never uses Shadow Rush. Ah, uh, that's such a pain. Flygon, come on, man. I really hope you can get these guys again. Okay, so I suppose what we have to do is throw Great Balls and then Yawn with Dunny Boy. Because you're slower. That's what we're going to have to do. So you have to keep using Yawn. Even though it has pressure. Alright. It's all up to fate now. Fate is not kind to me. 
<laughs> Fate is so not kind to me. And it's awake. It used Fire Blast. Um, that's not... So, okay, it went for Dunny Boy for some reason. Okay, we're partially retrieved. Prieved. Um, oh, God. Um, what do we do here? We're going to have to send out Flowrider and keep smoke screening it. That's what's going to have to happen. That's why it's been missing. We're going to have to hope that it never hits of another Shadow Rush. So we we'll Sleep Powder and smoke screen. Okay, we got the Sleep Powder off. That's the important thing. Whew. See, I try and make these battles not last long and then this happens. I don't want to fail twice again, Entei. But I didn't expect this. Okay. We smoke screen the bugger. So now the strategy is just to throw great balls with one hand and smoke screen it with the other. Oh god. Okay. Great ball and smoke screen. Now I might end up using all of my balls here, and that would majorly suck. I don't have much money. Two. Three. Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh my goodness. Ah. Oh. I have the biggest grin on my face at the moment. I am so happy. In all the time I've been battling, my only losses came to handsome Master Nasco and you. Now take this, it's your passport to terror and despair. Well, you know what? Thank you very much for letting me know that there are some damn legendary beasts set back. But we've got Entei. I don't believe it. Alright. That was great. I'm so happy. But it's just beginning because we have Suicune and Raikou still to get. Uh, but now I know that we can stock up on some Ultra Balls because we're going to need them. We happen to get that in Great Balls. I have the feeling that it won't always be that lucky as I found out last time. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to go ahead and get some Ultra Balls and then I'll be back. So we're back at Real Game Tower and check this out. 30 Ultra Balls. Yes, we are sorted. I sold a bunch of stuff like HP ups that honestly I would rather sell and have the balls than use them. So yeah, I was loaded and I spent almost everything I had on Ultra Balls. So, there's just two admins left, of which the Legendary Beasts are owned. Um, oh great, there's a healing center right here. I've went back and healed for no reason. Having trouble, are we? Perhaps you're lost in the expanse of this building. No. Well, that's good to hear. Go with care. Alright. Yes, turn your back on the enemy. That's so fundamentally wrong. I would say amateurish even. What is this? Oh, come on now. I have no time for this. The Cypher Peon Boppin. Do you have a Shadow Pokemon, I wonder? That is what I'd like to know. I'm guessing not at the moment. <laughs> Are these guys a level 39? Dude, I can take these guys. Okay, so it's just the admins at a really high level. Everyone else is fine. Watch how easy this will be. Well, I guess we'll go for Dust Ox. Because why not? Otacon, you're only level 48. My guys are levels. They're coming up Millhouse right here. Ah, oh, so close. But Dunny Boy, you've got this. Alright. Dunny Boy, your love for me knows no bounds, apparently. And Otacon's level 48. Learns nothing, as usual. <laughs> this wasn't until 4th gen that the movesets for Pokemon got so much better. It's a Viper! Which is not a Shadow Pokemon. That's fine, too. Okay, you're using acid armor. Real acid? I always say that. Okay, so... Ah, uh, you've leveled, so... Yes, use Bug Eye. You know what? We're doing this the fun way. We're also going to bring in Blueberry. And we're going to Earthquake these guys. And hopefully I don't use a poison attack on Blueberry. But it's okay, because there's a healing center right here. Alright, this is going to be fun. I've yet to actually do this, but fripping Dakeem did me on it, a f well, no, he only did it the one time, but still, my point still stands. Okay, he's using Sludge, that's not great, that's definitely not great, that's definitely not great, okay, that's fine, actually, that's, that's perfectly okay, as long as you don't get poisoned. And now, 
here's where stuff goes down. So you're going to heal yourself. Just to rub it in their fat faces, and you are going to Earthquake. BAM! That's what I'm talking about. That, I sense, is going to be such a useful combination. Oh yeah. And even with the acid armor, down goes the Grimer. Ooh, baby. All is well. Okay, things are getting fun now. <laughs> now that I'm at a good level. Alright. So, this is it. This is the end. I'll probably oversay that as well. I usually just recycle my dialogue after five or so episodes. Oh, and they've gone. Okay. No, no, no I didn't want to go in there. I wanted to switch out Odd Gun. For... Bruce Chan, because I haven't used this episode yet, I don't think. Uh, we don't need a heal. You know what? I'm such a cocky bastard, I'm just going to keep going. Now, the one downside to selling all my stuff is I sold all like, my PP restoring items. Hopefully I'm not going to ever need them, he says. And this is fairly linear now, it seems. Which is fine. It means I know I'm going. Who built this place? Okay, ooh. I will go right first. Hello? Oh yeah? So you're telling me you can knock me out of the way? Uh, yeah, why not? You know right away if that's possible by battling me! Yeah, I know, that's why I'm doing it. Cypher Peon Arton. Look at his face. He's not a happy bunny. Pillar Swine and a Deli Bird. Two Ice Types. So, I suppose it's a good thing that I brought out Bruce Chen. Would have been nice to have Flurry Red out as well, but you know, we'll take the good or the bad. Um, so, oh hello, what's this now? Oh great, the Deli Bird's shadow one. <laughs> Sorry Deli Bird, I just really don't see any real use for you. That's why you're level 45 then. Okay, um, we're going to triple kick this, everything else to get out of the way, and then yawn the Deli Bird I guess. Now come on Bruce Chan, need a really good triple kick here. Okay, that's two. And that's three. That will do very nicely. Nicely? No, that, that doesn't work. Shut up. Alright. And you also have a Glalie. I don't see too many of those, actually. Oh, what is this? Flying up high. So I'm assuming you're going for Bruce Chan. Even so... Now, you know what? I'm not going to let you succumb to that. I'm going to switch out for Flow Rider. <laughs> and then you can try Yawn Deli Bird again. I'm not letting you go out like that, man. Even if it does have lowered attack and is a Deli Bird. Oh my goodness. What is this? You can't use this strategy. That's my strategy. Oh yeah, well, that's, that Glalie is going down. Thankfully, it still didn't do too much. Alright, this is good. Uh, and it missed. That's always good to see. And so is this. Alright. Now, what do we do? We'll just try and take out the Glalie first. Get that pest out of the way, and then we'll go for the Deli Bird. And it's a critical hit, so it's winning in the die. That's nice. Okay, so hopefully return is not a critical. And we can do the job on... Well, I don't know why you just did that, because you're about to go to sleep. Nice. So... Instantly back on the ground. Okay, that was hilariously buggy. Um, what do we want to do here? I might try this whole smokescreen tactic again. That worked with the Entei. I think if I didn't use smokescreen on the Entei, that would have been it, because I think it missed with one of its shadow rushes. Oh man, I don't even want to think about that. I don't know if we can get them again after that. But I'm not willing to take that risk. Oh my god, okay. Alright, this is prime bullfrying territory here. Uh, so, that is precisely what we're doing. We're not using any damn ultra balls on you, we're using the great balls. But if this doesn't catch it, we're going to have to weaken it more, because I really want to conserve as many balls as I can. Yeah. But I don't know how we'd weaken it. We'll see what we've got. Come on, be cooperative. You are not cooperative. Uh, Alright, well you can stay in Flora and the smoke screen here, and then we'll switch Johnny Boy out. If I think no Shadow Rush, I should probably just let it do that instead. 
But, you know, that's fine. We need to find something that does a very small amount of damage. What could that possibly be? Blueberry. You're known for doing nothing. I just don't want you to die to an ice attack. But you also have sleep powder, so actually this is the perfect substitution. Alright. So you just keep doing that. I didn't expect to be spending so much time on trying to get a damn Della Bird, but there you go. Okay. So now, Smokescreen and... Mega Drain? This can't do much. In fact, it'll probably do so little. Oh, actually, okay, that did some amount of damage. I don't want to hit it again. If I hit it again, it might, I might crit it and kill it, and I don't want that. Alright, it'll probably wake up any second now. No, it's still asleep. Man, this thing likes to sleep. I suppose... I don't know, it's jobs around Christmas time, and you know, it's January now. He wants a break. Uh, we'll, we'll try another Great Ball, because I'm not sure if I want to risk another Mega Drain. If this one doesn't get it, then I will Mega Drain it, I suppose. But again, this thing might Shadow Rush and knock its own health down some, so that'll be useful. Okay, this thing just being a pain. This is not on, my friend. So we're going to have to Mega Drain it again. And then we'll find out if this whole endeavour was a waste of time or not. It must be awake now. Yeah, there we go. I thought it might be. And it's gone for a fly. Well, how annoying is that? I can't hit it now. Um, what else can I do? Cotton sport? No. Oh, whatever. I'll just try and attack it. I'll be amazed if this hit. If this fly hits after all this smoke screening, I'll be a sad panda. Okay, that's good to see. We like that. And then sleep powder. So now it should be asleep. And I have the maximum lowering of accuracy, which is beautiful. Alright. Uh, so I suppose I'd better Mega Drain this guy. What would I switch you at? Uh, do I even need to switch you out? I'd like to lower some of its other stats. Um... I suppose I send out Bruce Chan to get his attack down, and then Mega Drain, and really hope this doesn't crit, because otherwise that's it, and this whole endeavour was a waste of time. Okay, attack down. I'll stop your fly from doing much if it does hit. Okay, that is absolutely perfect. Right, here we go. Um. What can you do in the meantime? You know what, you can throw the balls. Right, this has to work, come on now. Didn't expect to be spending this much time on a deli bird. And then, cotton spore, why not? Still not entirely, like, why do I even still have that attack? I never use it other than in these situations. I suppose I need some non-damage, what the heck is this man? I suppose I need some non-damaging attacks. Well, this is a tremendous pain. And yet, the animations in this game perhaps go on a bit too long. Which is why it seems like these battles take a while. But that's okay. Okay, so. Throw the ball. Use Cotton Spore. I do think use Cotton Spore more, maybe, but Blueberry is usually faster than everything else anyway. It's usually to help my other teammates. Come on now. Thank you. Alright, that took way too long. But it worked out in the end. I shouldn't have battled. Yeah, you got that right. Excellent. Right. So, I think maybe this episode's running a bit. So, I'm not going to fight Anmin, but I am going to fight this other grunt, as it were. I need to get past this door. Uh, once again, I'll have to say yes. I'm guessing there's a daredevil in you. No, just a YouTube commentator who wants to get on with the damn videos and not have to waste ages trying to get a damn deli bird on the sunflora with a very stretchy neck apparently. I forgot who I had up in front. Bruce Chan Dunny Boy, okay, that's fine. That's okay, that's, in fact, 
well, no, actually, I could have done a better things. And I'm guessing the Sunflora is the Shadow Pokemon. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to switch you out into Flow Rider. And then we are going to use Yawn on Sunflora. Hopefully this goes according to plan and doesn't take up too many Great Balls like a stupid Deli Bird did. Although I am getting a bunch of money from these battles, so after the episode I could always go and get more. I see nothing wrong with doing that. Okay, Ingrain. It's a bit of a pain, but I'd rather you did that than other things. Sunny Day. Well, even though that will raise your speed, that is also very nice news for Flow Rider. And we'll utilize such things in decimating his gloom. And then we'll return to Sunflora. Just to get down a little bit. Alright. Gloom is not a happy bunny at that. Very nice. Oh, Danny boy, you're so close. And jump off. Hey, 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 hey. Whoa there. You are not allowed one of those. Okay, he's using growth. That's fine. I might as well just do the same thing. Return some flora and I'll flame wheel the jump love. As sad as it is to see that happen. It's the first jump off we've seen that isn't ours. That's madness. Alright, so. Flame wheel jump off and return some flora. Huh? Hey! How come that thing knows Giga Drain? Come on now, I'm stuck with Mega Drain. I really, could we have got the Giga Drain TM? I really hope it's somewhere. Until then, we're stuck with crappy Mega Drain. Thankfully, we've taken down the Jump Fluff, I would guess. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry at Dunny Boy level, though. All right. So now, the fact that this thing has been ingraining is a bit annoying. Damn in green. Let's see what I did there. Okay. Alright. Okay. I'm going to have to switch into something that won't do too much damage. Um, uh, let's use. Oh. Yes, yeah, use dig and then use you to throw the great balls, of which we only have 19 left now. No, 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 19. Uh, come on, first time. Do me a massive favour and stay in the damn ball. That's how you're supposed to do it. Take note of that jelly bird. That's how you become one of my favourites. <laughs> By cooperating almost instantly. What do you mean I lost? Why? Why? Okay. Awesome stuff. Got three shadow Pokemon this episode. Or, uh, you know, I'm probably splitting into two episodes. This is probably part two. We got two shadow Pokemon. Two, three shadow Pokemon. Get your numbers right. I've been saying my numbers wrong all day. Three shadow Pokemon. One of which was an Entei. So now we know that we still have to get Suikun and Raikou. And I suppose we will be getting them in the next episode. Or two. Maybe. Or well, maybe I'll fail, who knows. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Toodles.